got a big fat sign right here saying the 12 tribes of Israel and they and they can't even see it, man. They can't even see it. And they'll say, oh, this is a religion, this, this, this. That right there let me know off top. When he soon as he say that, he don't know the Bible because the Bible don't deal with religion. Okay? Right. When you read in, in uh, James, the first chapter, and, it, and when you look up that word religion, when you go deep into that word, it means to fear. The first, the first definition means to worship. But the second definition means to fear. Okay? When you look them words up, and the word, re, and the word religion, the word religion is a Latin word, which I meant to bring my, I was, you know what I was going to do today? I was going to bring my, my, uh, uh, my, uh, old dictionary and edify where we get them words ism, ish, and uh, uh, ism, and uh, uh, ist, that uh, ish, and that ism, what that mean. I was getting ready to bring that out here, but I was like, nah, so I should have just ran with the spirit. But I was finna bring my Latin dictionary out here and show you where that word religio come from in the Latin dictionary. You know what I was gonna do? And the word religio is a uh, uh, the word religio is uh, mean religion. But in the Latin, it's religio, which means to bind up and hold back from what the truth. So when he come up here and say, oh, what is this a religion? We got the truth. We ain't being held back from it. God. You see, the people in the churches are being held back because they join into that madness. That's why they. That's why uh, two thirds of our people are dry bones. You see, they are the dry bones. They don't got the breath of the heavenly Father and His Son. They don't got it, man. You see, they might have a sinew on them and the skin on them, but they don't got the breath, man. They don't got the name, nor the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the heavenly Father. Father, according to the Bible. Then he's saying a white man wrote the Bible. He don't even know. He don't even know history because if he knew true history, he wouldn't have said that. Because that's why we're going into it about Septimius Severus, uh, Diocletian, uh, uh, Constantine, uh, 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 and then I was gonna go into King James. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna lead up to that, but he kept interrupting me about the dark age. And the reason why they call it the dark age was Negro was ruling. And they hit you with that vibration. Say, oh, it wasn't no technology uh, back then. That's why we call it dark. That's pure madness, man. That's pure madness. God. That's pure madness. Because in this book, because in this book right here, uh, by uh, Roger Crawley, in this book right here, uh, 1453, they were doing the dark ages. And what they was, and what they was, uh, and in that book, it tell you how uh, Constantine, Constantine, which it was more than one Constantine, but the uh, the ones that was ruling at that time, uh, uh, like uh, Justinian, uh, Theodorus, and people like that, uh, we was warned against the Arab, right in the sea. And when they came against came against Israelites, because that's who was ruling at that time, the Israelites had a flamethrower. Just to show you how advanced Israel was in the technology. They had a flamethrower on the boat, and when they hit them, uh, them Arabs with the flamethrower, they didn't even know what it was. So that's part of the technology. To say, say that uh, technology, or, uh, or they didn't have the technology back during that time, that's pure madness. And the word Byzantine means battle. So they'll put that vibration on the Negroes that was ruling at that time because the native tribe was over here. The ten tribes was over here. So they'll, uh, so they'll put that vibration on, on, on the Negroes that were ruling because they know we were ruling. So they'll try to demonize and say 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 uh, uh, the Negro was stupid and they didn't have no technology. And then you got the Renaissance. And that's why they uh, 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 took down all the dark images showing that we were ruling and hid it. Still like they got in the Vatican. They got they got uh, uh, miles and miles of history in uh, in the Vatican. They got in the Library of Congress, and they got in the Smithsonian Institute, and they got the history on the Moors, which was Israelites. So they know, so they know we were ruling. But you got a scatterbrain that's in Arkansas that don't know nothing. You see, trying to live out the 1800s. That's why the Most High gonna hit this flaming transvestite upholding faggot society with thermonuclear destruction, man. You see? And two-thirds of our people made a covenant with death, which is sin, which is joined to the so-called white man, and they're going to be destroyed, man. They're going to be destroyed right along with the so-called white man, man. They have no knowledge, man. 
That's why the scriptures say my people are destroyed for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Lack of knowledge. God. When you look up that word knowledge, it's being able to discern the truth. God. They can't discern the truth, man. They ain't got it, man. The most high got blinders on their eyes, man. God. You see? And listening to this devil dressed up in a uh, 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 like uh, old slave uh, owner. Old, old, slow, old slave slave owner. owner upholding uh, uh, folly. But then, but then when these devils come up on us and say, oh, don't go nowhere. When, when them <laughs> devils come up on us, right? And we hold up this right here. Yeah. Yeah, I say, oh, well, that's all in the past. Well, bitch, you're trying to live out the past right now. Yep. You live out the past every day. Okay? You live out the past every day and don't even know it. Go into the go into the uh go into the grocery store and park your car on the on, on aisle E. You're gonna have to remember where you parked it. That's the past, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to remember where you parked it. You gotta remember where you parked it at. Cause it's in the past. In the most high, the heavenly father and his son required that which is past. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. God. And my thoughts are not your thoughts, according to uh, Isaiah 55 and 8. God. You see? And then they tell you in Revelation 13, 9 and 10, he that leading the captivity shall go into captivity. That's okay? Right. Hey, cool. give me Exodus. Hold, hold what you got and go back there. But give me Exodus uh, 21 and uh, I think it's uh, 16. God. Exodus 21 and 16, and he that still a man. That's in the law. That's in the Bible. So he tried to play on us and say, which part y'all gonna read? Read the whole Bible, idiot. <laughs> How you gonna try to play on us with that? We read the whole Bible. We believe in the whole Bible. King James Bible. You see? Go ahead. It says, he that still a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand. Oh, no, we still found in their hand? God. You see? Oh, no, we still found in their hand? And here this devil is, the most high manifested, that these devils try to be slick. And here it is down south in Arkansas, they up here dressed up, trying to uphold the 1800s in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a uh, so-called slave master uh, uh, attire. But when we tell them, look, you're going to go into slavery for destroying the Negro, Latino, and Native American, they're going to say, oh, well, 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 that was in the past. That's the devil, man, a fucking serpent. And these two-third niggas join right with him, man. That's why I tell you, man, according to the King James Bible, man, when this race war pop off, man, two-thirds of these niggas going to be wiped out, man, according to the Bible, because they're going to be joined to the so-called white man, man. They don't got no shepherd, man. The most High not dealing with them, man. They think the white man is God, man. You see? And that's why I told that nigga, because I seen his spirit, man. I seen his spirit. Get your ass over there with him. You with him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. God. Go ahead. It says, if he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death. So that's a penalty. That's a penalty. Okay? Give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy 13 and uh, around the 6th verse. God. Deuteronomy 13 and 6. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, let us go and serve other gods. So-called white man. So-called white man. See that? Go ahead. And it says, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy father, namely of the gods of the people. The gods of the people, because this is set up. The white man set this up. He glorifying himself. And whenever you bow down to this, you bow down to the so-called white man. God. Go ahead. And it says, which are round about you nigh unto thee or far out from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. This image is all over the earth, man. That's why That's why our people got that vibration on them, thinking that the so-called white man is God, man. You see, thinking they can join hand in hand with the so-called white man, and thinking there ain't no penalty coming from the heavenly father, man. There's a penalty coming, man. Go ahead. And it says, thou shalt not consent unto him nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him. Neither shall thine eye pity them. Okay? Why? Because they trying to entice you to go serve the so-called white man as he is God, the heavenly father. You out your damn mind. 
we don't pity these niggas, man. When they, we see these niggas get blown down by the so-called white man, we laugh, man. When we see if we see that nigga on the news or get ran over by a car, we gonna mock that nigga. Say he's saying the truth, most I put in the God. But it says, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shall thy spare, neither shall thy conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death. So we gotta wait upon the heavenly father and his son in order to enact that penalty. Because we can't do it on our own. But that's the law, that's the penalty. Okay? We got to wait upon him. We got to wait upon the heavenly father and his son to implement that penalty. Go God, on. thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones that he died, because he have sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And that's plain, man. And that's plain. So the penalty is coming, man. So the penalty is coming. God. You know? You think, you think the Heavenly Father gonna send his son back and you think his son is not gonna push forth and act out them penalties? You out your mind, man. The great spirit is gonna be over with when he come back. The great spirit is gonna be over with, man. You know? Go back to Corinthians. God. 1 Corinthians 4, 9. For I think that the Most High have set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. That's why they, that's why they, Edomite was taking pictures. He looking at us like, uh, like it's something to view. Like it's, a, like we a theater, like we entertainment. Okay? And that's why, that's why, uh, 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 that nigga was making mockery. Like, oh, y'all ain't teaching it, y'all ain't teaching the word, you judge it. It tell you in first, uh, 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 first Corinthians chapter six. And it also tell you in, uh, uh, Leviticus 19 that we can judge. Right. I think it's around Leviticus 19 and 18. 18, 18 yeah, somewhere up in there. Time. Okay? Time. So we can judge. You know? But that's why the Most High gonna do away with these niggas, man. Got you, brother. It that's says, why the Most High gonna do away with these niggas, man. I right, and you brothers, man, that's out there teaching these scriptures, man. You better recognize quick, man, what the real race war is, man. You better recognize quick, man, because two thirds they out of there, man. The Most High, the Most High is not with them, man. That's why the Most High let Esau fuck them up. He's showing you every time, man, that the Most High not with them two thirds, man. Time. The real race war is gonna be with the elect against all these, all these uh, other nations, man. Inclu including uh, two thirds, man. It, it's, it's a he said a remnant, man. That's it, man. And it says we are made a spectacle unto the world and to the an to angels and to men. Yeah. We are fools for your house shy sake. Nah, we are fools for his sake. We out here. You see, we out here teaching the word. So we don't care what these people think about us. We don't care, man. Hey, they told, they told, hey, they looked at, they looked at Paul as he was out of his mind, because he said too, uh, he was reading too much. They told Paul much reading to make you mad. <laughs> Basically, he was out of his mind. And then they looked at the Lord himself as he was out of his mind. Give me that, uh, we finish that off, and give me uh, John 12 and 20. It says, we are fools for Christ's sake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Yeah, we are despised in this world, man. We are despised, man. You know, give me uh, John 12. Yeah, 12 and 20. John 12 and 20. And it says, and, and there were a certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came Therefore, to Philip, which was at Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we will see Yahweh Shai. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew. And again, Andrew and Philip tell Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man shall be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it, I'm sorry, it, I got the wrong one. 
Huh. So lock it, that's the wrong one. Uh, I think it's Matthew.